Welcome back to the Lights Out podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls for when the lights go out. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all tucked up and ready for another bedtime story? Well, tonight's story is day 18 of awesome author August. A new story every single night. Each day in August. And tonight's story is called... It's Thursday today, and it's actually not Thursday. What day is it? Wednesday. It's going to be Wednesday. Wednesday. Anyway. Tomorrow is Friday. Okay. Friday. Yes. Tonight's story is called This Moose Belongs to Me by Oliver Jeffers. Once upon a time, Wilfred owned a moose. He hadn't always owned a moose. The moose came to him a while ago, and he knew, just knew, that it was meant to be his. He thought he would call him Marcel. He began following Marcel, explaining the rules of how to be a good pet. Much of the time, it seemed as though the moose wasn't listening, but Wilfred knew he was mostly because he followed Rule 4 very well, not making too much noise while Wilfred plays his record collection. Sometimes the moose wasn't a very good pet. He generally ignored Rule number 7, going whichever way Wilfred wants to go. The moose had a very good sense of direction, and Wilfred did not. And because the moose was particularly poor on Rule 7, Subsection B, maintaining a certain proximity to home. Wilfred quickly learned to bring some strings along on their outing so that he could find his way back again. Sometimes the moose was an excellent pet. He had no trouble with Rule 11, providing shelter from the rain, or Rule 16, knocking down things that are out of Wilfred's reach. One day, as Wilfred discussed their plans for the coming year on a particularly long walk, he made a terrible discovery. Someone else thought they owned the moose. Rodrigo, you're back. Wilfred was dumbstruck. This moose was Marcel, not Rodrigo. The old lady was mistaken, and Wilfred thought it only proper that he correct her. This moose belongs to me. He explained. And to prove it, he called Marcel. Heal! But the moose did not respond. He seemed more interested in the old lady. Embarrassed and enraged, Wilfred rushed off for home. But in his haste, and miles away from anywhere, he tripped over his string and got tangled up. And there he lay... Wilfred was beginning to get a little bit worried and it was past his home time now and the monsters would be out soon. He had just ruled out the last of his options when along came the moose and performed Rule 73 brilliantly, rescuing your owner from perilous situations. All was forgiven and perhaps Wilfred admitted he'd never really owned the moose anyway. With that in mind, he and the moose reached a compromise. The moose would agree to all of Wilfred's rules, whenever it suited him. The End